guys, we are on our way to Grand Moss, the biggest mall in the UAE. Yay. Very soon you are going to see us there. Yes. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Our journey started from Hamdan Street. I had two friends, one was from India and one was from Nigeria. We took a local bus which directly goes to the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. There are two tall towers are called Al Bahar Towers. The distinguishing feature of the towers is their protective skin of 2000 umbrellas like glass elements that automatically opens and closes depending on the intensity of sunlight. Oh wow! Finally, we are at Grand Mosque. Okay guys, we are almost here. The Grand Mosque was constructed between 1996 to 2007 and it was designed by Syrian architect Yusuf Abdeliki. Hello guys, hi. We are at Abu Dhabi, the Grand Mosque, you can see the Grand Mosque behind us. It's beautiful, amazing and to enter this mosque, you can see behind this oval round thing okay there's the entrance and uh, through the underground you have you can reach the mosque amazing this is the main entrance i guess so let's go and check it Yeah, we are there. Finally, we reached the Grand yeah. Mosque. Going inside the so, Grand Mosque, we have to pass through the underground. Yes. yes. No, yes. no, we are going there now. So, don't you, people, you guys are going to see a lot of beautiful things. Get your ticket, right? Huh? Huh? National ticket. Huh. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, check. Yeah, we have to take. We have to get a ticket from here. Okay. And you see, so the ticket. It's like this. How many? One. One. You have to submit your nationality. Everything. Okay. See. My ticket is done as well. <laughs> the ticket looks like this. The design of Sheikh Zayed Mosque has been inspired by Persian, Mughal and the Alexandrian Mosque of Abu al-Abbas al-Murshi Mosque in Egypt. Also the Indo-Islamic Mosque architecture, particularly the Badshahi Mosque in Lahore, Pakistan being 
direct influences. The dome layout and floor plan of the mosque was inspired by the Batsahi Mosque. The mosque is large enough to accommodate over 40,000 worshippers, while the main prayer hall can hold over 7,000. There are two smaller prayer halls with a capacity of 15,000 each, one of which is the women's prayer hall. If you only have time to see one thing in Abu Dhabi, make sure it's the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. It's really amazing. The first word that comes to mind when describing this mosque is simply breathtaking. The landmark that is absolutely stunning beyond belief. To enter the mosque, ladies have to cover up. No parts of the body can be exposed, including hair. You will be provided with an abaya, a black robe. Natural materials were chosen for much of its design and construction due to their long-lasting qualities, including marble stones, gold semi-precious stones, crystals and ceramics. Artisans and materials came from many countries including India, Italy, Germany, Egypt, Turkey, Morocco, Pakistan, Malaysia, Iran, China, United Kingdom, New Zealand, North Macedonia. That gentleman was explaining the mosque has seven imported sandalias from Germany that incorporates millions of Soborowski crystals. The largest sandalia is the second largest known sandalia inside the mosque, the third largest in the world and has 33 feet diameter and 49 feet high. The carpet in the main prayer hall is considered to be the world's largest carpet made by Iran's carpet company and designed by Iranian artist Ali Khaleki. Okay guys, this must for now. I'm Arun. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye bye. Salam alaikum.